All right here we have part one of Victor's piano solo from the Corpse Bride. sharp. Here's middle C, here's the next C, here's the next one. And then way up here on a high F sharp, you can barely see that. And then up to G, then down to D sharp, and then up to E, down to B, B, and then up to C, then down to F sharp, up to G. And we want a G sharp octave, so G sharp on the thumb, G sharp on the pinky right here. Okay, so these two boxes are kind of slow rubato uh, with expression and feeling, so not really a tempo, just all right, you hold it, and then we'll come in with the left hand here. We're going to start on a very low C sharp, so here's middle C, here's the next one down, here's the next one down, and we want this C sharp right here, with the pinky, then we're going to go up to G sharp here, then up to C sharp, up to E, back down to the same C sharp, and back down to G sharp. See, so you can have your hands sort of in one place here, and you can play that box. <clears throat> and I have two times there, two X. I'll play this two times. Once, twice. With the pedal down, of course. Now, <clears throat> on this box, we're going to do this box two times as well, because uh, of the repeat sign there. But the second change on left hand. So do the left hand the same two times. Okay, the right hand's going to have a G sharp above middle C another G sharp, another one, one more here. Then when we, when we repeat, instead of doing this G sharp, we're going to do an A in parenthesis. And that's the only difference. We're going to replace this G sharp with an A. So the second time it's bum, 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 bum. All right? So let's do this box two times slowly. Or let, let's look where the hands go together first. So together here, left, left, and then just right hand. Then together, left, left, just right. Now on the repeat, we go through again, and then it's an A this time, and then normal for the rest of it. So slowly, this box two times goes. Okay, moving on, up here we have left hand on a B, right here, then up to F sharp, then up to B, then up to a higher F sharp, so you need to cross over and do your pointer finger up here on a high F sharp, down to D sharp, and then down to B. So left hand here is... Okay, right hand's going to be a B above middle C. Two more. And then an A. Now you play hands together here. Left, left. And then this right hand becomes in between. And then together here. And then left, and then left right hand is all by itself there. Okay, so this box slowly goes. Okay, then we're going to have low E down here, then up to B, up to E, up to G sharp, back down to E, back down to B. So left hand is. Okay, right hand's on a G sharp. We put that together and we have. Moving on, we have left hand on a low F sharp, up to C sharp, up to F sharp. Then we're going to cross over and do a middle C sharp, and then down to A, and then down to F sharp. Okay? Now, uh, the left hand is obviously just a steady rhythm all throughout, sixlets here, um, and the right hand just is melody doing what it wants to do. So, F sharp, another F sharp, up to G sharp up to A, back to G sharp, down to E, okay? Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's just do this box now. Hands together, left, left, and then just right hand on the F sharp by itself, and together, and then left, left, and then right hand. So slowly this box will go. And then here we have C sharp, 
sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and then down to A, E, A right here. All right, right hand will be on a G sharp, and then an E here. So play together, together. All right, for that box, one line to go. Up here, the left hand is exactly the same as right here. So I'm not going to go over these notes. It's just the same F sharp, minor chord, basically the same as that. Right hand's on an E above middle C, and another E, down to D sharp, down to middle C sharp. All right, hands together here, and then left, left, and then just right hand, and together here. It's supposed to sound like that. Play the right hand a little louder and it won't bother you. And then left, and then together. So this box slowly goes... Here we have B, F sharp, B, and then cross over for a D sharp, back down to B, back down to F sharp. All right, right hand's going to be on an F sharp above middle C, and then an octave F sharp here, F sharp, F sharp, and then one, two, three more times. One, two, we're just going to do it two though because we're doing one box at a time. Uh, so hands together here, left, left, together here, left together here, and then just right hand. So slowly this box goes. Oh, I'll miss the note there. Let me do it again. Okay. Here, left hand will continue with the D sharp, B, F sharp that we had right here. So D sharp, B, F sharp, and then here it's B, F sharp, D sharp. Right hand's on an F sharp octave still. And then just the high F sharp here two times. Bum, bum, and then E, and then a D sharp, and those are together. I didn't put a line there, but those are together. Uh, so this box, we put hands together here, left, and then together, and then just right hand, and then together here, and left, and then together. So the last box will sound like this. Okay, and you can hear the whole thing I played at the beginning. I uh, went all the way through it for you. So there is part one. Hope you enjoy it.